William Hill sponsors White versus Parker on Sky Sports Box Office. Fuck. One minute you think your dad's going to be proud because you wouldn't on tell it, then you start crying. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Listen. Told you. I told you. Did you hear me shout for you or not? I told you it was coming. 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 Patient. Thank you very much. Listen. Excuse me. Fucking legend. I've not seen him yet. Dave. Listen, David. David. You know, you know. I know, I know. Did you hear me shouting? Come on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You'll be next. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Just come in, just come in. Oh, come sorry, in. I'm really sorry. sorry. Well, after three rounds, Eddie, what Best were you thinking, first of all? Oh, for, well, it, it was just my phone was going mad. What is this, Hearn? Get this rubbish out. Pay per view, never. What is this? Waste of money, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm thinking, and I just noticed that we was just getting a little bit tired and. He was actually, at one point, I think he threw three punches in one round, which was unbelievable. So, and then actually, he threw, I think, a left hook to the body, and then about 30 seconds later, left hook to the body, right hand, brutal knockout. I can't believe it. I'm totally lost for words. I'm so pleased for him. And people will say, what's next? Well, it doesn't matter what's next, because what's next is a break. He came back too early after the Tony Yoka fight, but in his position, he's got no choice. And tonight, if he wants to, he turned his career around. Big purse, big win bonus. He don't really care about that. But I'm pleased for him because he want to go away, stick the dough down, buy yourself a house, and then actually build onto something if you've got the desire to do it. He has to improve because he's going it back sometimes into a sparring partner mentality, a bit of a loser's mentality. He's proved tonight he's a winner. So let's box like a winner. Mix stood by him, he's like painful to work with. Painful. I'm just at the weighing game. Come on. My old man went into his change room trying to sort of G him up. He came back, he went. That Dave Allen's on another planet. He said, I was trying to give him a G up. I don't even know where it went in. <laughs> but who knows wherever it, who, who knows it might've just been a lucky shot. It doesn't matter. It was one of the most dramatic finishes I've ever seen at the O2. And now I'm going to go and watch Joshua Boetzi. Go on, you crack on. A, a, well, no, a, a, a world-class fighter. <laughs> a world-class yeah, fighter. Yeah. But listen, as world-class as Joshua Boetzi is, he might not create that much uh, drama tonight. Who had the back, back, better knockout, Fowler or Allen? Mine. That was, well, because it come from nowhere. I mean, Fowler looked like he was going to knock him out. That was like, I would have given you 100 to 1 that I'm Dave Allen... Another bit of that. No, I would. Ago. You know, that he weren't winning by knockout. And listen, credit to uh, Nick Webb as well. Yeah. He stepped up to take the Joe Joyce fight. He, he never had any complaints. Yeah, I'll fight Dave Allen. And he'll come again. But tonight is all about the White Rhino. Go on. Thank you. All right, thank you, mate. You got that. <laughs> Or something else. It's not embarrassing, is it? Oh, it's all right. He just—he spoke for four minutes. Bring me in. Come on. Bring what you want. I'll bring you to it in a minute. <laughs> this has been a longer journey. So, it was safe to say after, like I said, up until the punch. But can I just point out? I, I, I kept coming back every, every, after the first round. I came back to me. I said, um, I said I'll do it. Second round, I said he's tiring. Third round, I said he's going. Fourth round, I says. I didn't know, I was saying all along, I said, yeah. he's tiring, I'm yeah, just yeah. making him miss. Yeah, I knew, he couldn't, I knew he couldn't do 10 rounds, it was just a case of whether he chinned me before I chinned him. He was never going to chin me, but to be honest, I'm, I'm really unfit. And if I get fit, British level is, a, is, is, is more than my, is, I'm capable of that, aren't I? Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, if that's what? British level, I can do that without training. I mean, what was you thinking after the first three rounds and he didn't seem busy enough, did he? No, I didn't. No, but it, it, well, no, I didn't seem busy enough. But like, um, I didn't want to. You couldn't force him to go out and blow himself out. Uh, but he was, he was throwing some uh, some good shots, and Webb did look like he was starting to tire a bit. So it paid off. Yeah, it? All yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> People are going to ask what's next. Obviously, it's more of a question for Eddie Owen, who didn't really answer that, but. Do you want a little bit of a break? Yeah, now? a little break. I took the, the Yoka fight was only four weeks ago, and it was probably too soon. Yeah. Everyone around me didn't even want me to set this fight tonight. But you can't say to me you're going to fight at the O2 because the only the only one on the going. I say that I didn't even ask me. I told him. <laughs> I said to him, get me the web fight, uh, and he offered me some money. It didn't matter what money he offered me. He, he just offered me really good money. I'd have took it for half. No, I shouldn't say that really, should I? I shouldn't. No, no, <laughs> no. He paid me the right amount of money, not yeah. enough. Yeah. But um, but. But uh, just a little bit of a rest. I want the British title. 
I think I'll have the rest of the year off as planned. I bet you don't. I know, but if it's something that's offered to you. If White Park, something happens to me before 10 o'clock, I'll be in. I'm like, yeah, yeah go yeah, on then. Yeah, yeah. Go on then, get me in. Talk to me about how emotional you was as soon as oh, kind God. of you realised that. Such a good crane face. One of them, it's like a. You know, one of them. I thought, fucking hell. I know my dad would be like, yeah, go on, son. And I start crying on the television, like, fucking hell yourself. Twat. I, I would have tears in my eyes and that. It's just been a long yeah. fucking time coming. And you know what? <laughs> I'd love to say it's been loads of hard work, but it hasn't. It's just been me being a silly twat. And finally tonight, it's experience. I'm starting to get experience now. The year ago, I just choked, I just kept following him, yeah, and I was like, yeah, ugh. Yeah. But today, I found it in the fourth round, and I thought, you know what, I can hit with right hand now. If I just faint, hit the body, then faint, then throw, experience. And uh, Nick Webb's a lovely man, a really lovely fella. And if I, if I didn't want to knock anyone out in a fight, it would have been in. But when he went down, I thought, please stop it. Yeah. Just stop it. Because I would have choked, I wouldn't have finished him off. I'd have been like, ugh. I'd have proper fingered it, but I just hope he's all right, which I think he is. And, um, I'm just going to go back now, have a little, I can say what I want in here, can't I? A little cry wank in shower. <laughs> Do you know Pardon? what I mean? A little cry wank. You know when you get in the shower, you have a little cry and a wank. A cry and a wank. At the same time. <laughs> you know, yeah. you ever, not have one of them. Are you going to watch back that Babe Station video that they posted out, which was the most incredible thing I've ever seen? I've just got the most amazing people behind me. <laughs> Babe Station. Nigel Ben came in here before the fight. And was, he tapped me on the shoulder, I turned around, and I thought, oh, who's that? And I thought, you yeah. <laughs> And I literally, I was like, what? He was trying to wrap my hands, he was like, he was like, make a fist, and I was like, you know, I couldn't even hear what he was saying. Then Barry Ayn came in, then Rob Tebbett came in, I went, Rob, nice job Ben's just been in Barry Ayn, come on, mate. You know what I mean, you can take some topping, like, you have to come up with some proper pearls of wisdom here to, to top that, but um, just an exception, just a fucking brilliant night, start to finish. Probably, probably the, one of the best nights of my life, one of them. I've had some decent ones when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, all right, well, listen, I know you haven't even been to the dressing room yet, so I appreciate it. Can I bring it. these two in? You can do. I've said we robbed Tubbett two nights a week. Been, <laughs> I slept in a single bed. All right. Dave Manfield, Danny Morell, I would love that. <laughs> Danny Morell, there's so many, Monty, everyone, Coogan, Coogan Cassis. Number one, so I've not known you long enough. Rob Tebbett, number two. Even Gary, all foul and foul as mates. Yeah. You might as well. Gary, get in here, Gary. <laughs> Gary the postman from near Sandown Racecourse. This is the kid you bullied in the ring the other day, weren't you? No, this is Danny Morelli. He, he's yeah, going to be a million times a fighter I'm ever going to be. Uh, Mick Marsden, my, uncle, my old uncle Mick. Thank you. Um, <laughs> just everybody, you know what I mean? Are you there? Every, just You're everyone, there? really. I'd be here all night and you haven't got all night, so thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you, Doctor. All right, see the doctor Thank now. You. Thank Sorry, you. doc. That's Apologies. Right. Sorry, mate. That's all right. Go on, That's mate. Great. William Hill sponsors White versus Parker on Sky Sports Box Office.